story behind building Sherry's grooming van begins with Sherry not being happy with the quality of grooming at other shops in the area. I saw this and I kept asking her if I could build her a mobile grooming salon. One particularly bad day, I came home and told Bill to build it. That led us on the search for the platform to build it on. And we found this 1988 Chevy step van. Price was right and had low mileage, so we bought it. Now it was time to put it together. One of the first things to establish was the electrical system. Sherry has equipment that needs reliable AC power. Plugging into a customer's home outlet is not always possible, and a generator is allowed. This led us to looking at using an inverter and a battery bank. While we had the concept down, I had not designed a system like this before. This required a lot of research, and it required a lot of trial and error. This video is about what is working and how this design grew out of what we tried. The design of the system is based on a battery bank of six six volt deep cycle golf cart batteries. These are connected in a series parallel design to produce 12 volts and over 600 amp hours of power. This may sound like a lot, but it is just enough for some grooming jobs. The battery bank is connected to a 3000 watt modified sine wave inverter. This provides most of the AC power to the grooming salon. As this inverter is over nine years old, the technology is getting old and it is nearing the end of its service life. We'll be replacing it with a pure sine wave inverter at some point. Although it has not been giving us any issues yet, the power comes from the inverter and to a circuit breaker panel to distribute to the devices in the mobile salon, including the fluorescent lights, the high velocity dryer, the power strip for the clippers, and the recirculating pump for the grooming tub. Of these, the HV dryer uses the most power. The HV dryer helped to identify the weak points in the system. While the recommendations of several websites said that one aught cable would handle the load of 3000 watts, I found that I needed to double this to get enough power to the inverter from the batteries. And the batteries would have the power, but it was not getting to the inverter. And it would alarm a low power condition and shut down. This would happen at a time when I needed to blow dry a dog and would have to go reset the inverter. The thicker 2 watt cable helped, but the next thing needed to complete the system was a battery charger, and that helped even more. Having a full charge on the battery bank is more important than one might think. To provide charging to the batteries, I set up a connection to the alternator of the van to charge while driving. But this is not enough to keep a bank of batteries conditioned to a full charge. It was only after adding a 50 amp AC to DC converted charger that I would get a full charge on those batteries. It has the added benefit of providing additional power when it is plugged in while using the HV dryer. Plugging in at a customer is needed at times, and this helps to keep the batteries topped up. The reason Sherry needs to plug in is to use the air conditioner. The modified sine wave inverter will not run the AC unit in the van properly. A pure sine wave inverter would be needed for the AC. The need for air conditioning in places that don't have a place to plug in has led us to adding one more power source to the van, a generator. The generator we have is from Harbor Freight and is able to produce over 7,000 watts. But it is loud. But it does make enough power. Getting the generator also makes it possible to add another AC unit, but the AC will be another video. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, press the like button below and subscribe. And also check out our other videos.